Hello there, welcome to the web news with our pick of the stories making the online headlines. Coming up on today's show, Anonymous vows to target terrorists on social media. French web users encouraged to draw a Charlie and a base jumping enthusiast to share his latest feat. In this online clip, the French arm of informal hacker group Anonymous delivers a very clear message to enemies of freedom of speech, declaring war on Islamist extremists and vowing to track them down and bring down their websites and social media accounts. The video was posted online in the wake of the attack at the Paris headquarters of satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo on January 7th and sees Anonymous declaring war on terrorists in France and indeed the rest of the world. And the hacktivists have already put their words into action, posting dozens of Twitter handles they say belong to jihadists to the Pastebin platform. Anonymous is also encouraging web users to follow suit and report any accounts they suspect may be linked to terrorist activity to the authorities. The hacker group says it's already launched a series of cyber attacks targeting sites affiliated to Islamist extremism, taking down Ansar al haqnet for example, a Salafi website often accused of advocating terrorism. The platform is still currently unavailable. The journalist Damien Boncal fears Anonymous will do more harm than good. In an article published on Zataz.com, he's concerned the Anonymous campaign will incite other hackers to carry out racially or religiously motivated cyber attacks in their name. Fears, it seems, were justified as it's been reported a French site selling halal products and with no link to any terrorist group whatsoever has already been targeted by hackers following last week's attacks. Just hours after terrorist gunman storms satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo, hundreds of cartoonists and other professional artists from across the globe began sharing their own drawings online in honor of the journalists killed in the attack. This incredible show of solidarity from artists the world over appears to have inspired the producers of French talk show C'est à vous, aired en France 5, as they're calling on French web users to send in their artistic tributes to those who lost their lives in the January 7th shooting. Dubbed dessine moi un Charlie, meaning Draw Me a Charlie, the initiative is proving hugely popular on the French web. And there are countless creations doing the rounds on social media, mostly accompanied with the Je suis Charlie or dessine moi un Charlie hashtag. Citizens are reaffirming their commitment to the values of the French Republic and vowing to fight to preserve their right to freedom of expression. They want to send a message to Islamist extremists to say the people of France will never let terrorists win and France will never be brought to its knees. The Dessimois Charlie initiative has proved so popular that a Facebook page has been set up to catalogue all the drawings. It's drawn close to 10,000 likes in just a few days and features hundreds of pieces posted by web users in response to last week's terrorist attacks in Paris. <laughs> French musician J.B. Boulay composed Je suis Charlie just several hours after the terrorist attack on the Charlie Hebdo headquarters. His tribute to the victims of the deadly shooting is proving extremely popular on social media. The video clip of the song has been viewed over 10 million times. You're better off posting a Facebook status update early morning or late at night if you're looking to reach the maximum number of web users. Twitter posts, on the other hand, are mostly read during office hours. This infographic was put together by American firm Shaw Payroll and shows, for example, that the over 45s prefer Google+, and that Tumblr users spend more time per visit than the average social networker. You can take a closer look at all these stats and facts on the site at dailyinfographic.com. New York-based Czech artist Eliska Podzimkova has added her own personal touch to the photos she takes around the U.S. city. As we can see here, she incorporates playful illustrations into the shots. Head to the Animate NY Instagram page to see more.
base jumper Mark Broderick recently jumped off a huge tower and did nine front flips before opening his parachute. A spectacular performance which was caught on camera and available to view on the GoPro YouTube channel.